Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to evaluate integral of sine of natural log of x and integral of cosine of natural log of x. Okay, uh, we have condition. Uh, we cannot use uh, IBP integration by parts or uh, any substitution. Okay, this is the trick. Uh, if we consider integral x to the i dx. We know uh, we can write this is equal to x to the i plus 1 over i plus 1 plus c uh, using a general power rule of integration. Now uh, we can multiply by 1 minus i uh, both numerator and denominator. So we can write 1 minus i here 1 plus i times 1 minus i. We know 1 minus i square i square we know minus 1. So here we have 2 and here x to the i plus 1 we can write x to the i times x plus c now we can write 1 minus i over 2 now instead of uh, x to the i here x x to the i we can write e to the i times natural log of x plus c then uh, as a next step 1 minus i over 2 times x now e to the i times natural log of x we know this is equal to cosine of natural log of x plus i times sine of natural log of x plus c now uh, we can rearrange this uh, like uh, here x over 2 times now if we multiply by 1 we have cosine of natural log of x plus i times sine of natural log of x then uh, we can multiply by minus i so here minus i times cosine of natural log of x then minus i times plus i minus i square we know 1 so plus sine of natural log of x plus c okay then uh, here x over 2 uh, times now uh, if we take real part we know uh, cosine of natural log of x plus sine of natural log of x then uh, minus x over 2 times i now uh, imaginary part we know sine of natural log of x uh, here plus sorry here uh, we can take uh, plus i x over 2 so sine of natural log of x minus cosine of natural log of x uh, plus c okay then uh, if we take uh, this integral again x to the i so uh, we can take x to the i dx now we can write this is also equal to integral of e to the i times natural log of x dx now uh, we know e to the i times natural log of x is equal to cosine of natural log of x plus i times sine of natural log of x dx okay then uh, we can break this integral into two different integrals integral of cosine of natural log of x dx plus i times integral of sine of natural log of x dx now uh, here we have same integral here also we have same integral so now uh, if we consider real part we know integral of cosine of natural log of x dx is equal to here real part we know x over 2 times cosine of natural log of x plus sine of natural log of x plus c then if we take imaginary part we know so here we have uh, sine of natural log of x so sine of natural log of x dx is equal to here imaginary part we know x over 2 times uh, sine of natural log of x minus cosine of natural log of x plus c okay this is the answer